So this is now part two. If you haven't already seen part one where we started modeling our cat, make sure to watch it. We're now gonna go on with some of the rest of the things like the ears and the eyes. And uh, yeah, like I said, make sure to watch part one if you haven't already seen that. And just one more quick thing, if you do get stuck and the modeling part of this tutorial is just too tricky for you, I am gonna be providing for free in the description below the finished model so you can follow on from the modeling bit. And um, you can use it as a reference or you can just use this model and continue from here so you don't have to do the modeling bit as well. So that's another option, just quickly worth mentioning in the description below, you can download this for free as well if you wanna go from there. So let's start by making our ears. Um, we're going to need to go and let's turn off proportional editing or maybe let's just leave it on. Okay, we're going to go to our face select option and let's go to our right or graphic view. Let's go into x ray and we want to select one up. So let's select these guys here. So four faces going down like so. Actually, let's make that three faces because if we extruded this middle face, we'd have some issues because it'll all be one ear. So let's just grab these three faces over here, okay? And in our front orthographic view, let's just go E to extrude and then S to scale slightly. And let's just move it up here roughly to match the ear. And let's go to our right orthographic view and to make it match a little bit better, we're gonna go over here to our edge select and let's select this middle edge over here and holding and shift select the one at the back. And we still have proportional editing. So in our right orthographic view, Let's just go and enable um, X-ray and let's just move this back. So it kind of matches the ear, as you can see there. And let's grab this corner here of the ear. Let's go G and let's move that back. So it kind of matches the reference, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Control R, roll in an extra edge, double click. And now in our front view, let's go and just select this vertex here. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. You can go into wireframe or the um, X-ray. We're just gonna bring these verts at the top closer together. Kind of bring them all together like so. And then we're gonna go Control R, add in a loop over here and then bring this vertex out to this one over here. Control R, add one in here and then we're just gonna match it up like so. Okay, so that's looking a lot better already from the front. And let's go back to the right orthographic view. Um, very simple, let's just select Shift-Alt, left click on this loop here, and let's just move it back a little bit. It's much easier if you use proportional editing, like so. And then over here in the corner, it's not matching up, so let's just grab this vertex, and in our right view, let's just go G and move it forward. And then let's grab one here at the top, at the front, and then go G. I just move that forward. And you can see what we're doing here. It's not too hard. And then we could just maybe grab this face over here on the edge and then go G and just tuck it back. Just to kind of give it a little bit of an arc like so. Okay. And then we're just gonna go Control R, add in one more loop up here and then go Control Plus with that loop active all the way down to the bottom. And with our smooth tool, let's do some magic and smooth it all out to make it look a lot nicer. And now I feel like we're getting somewhere. Okay, it's looking good from the front, looking good from the side. It's not, it doesn't have to match the reference 100%, but for now, let's just grab all of these inside faces. So I'm holding in shift, select these guys, all the way to the top. And we're gonna turn off proportional editing, we'll go E to extrude, S to scale, and extrude it in. And let's go E to extrude and extrude it, like so, and then S to scale again. And with those still selected, we're gonna go Control Plus to grow to selection a few times and then go with the Smooth tool, smooth it out. And now we have that, as you can see. And then from your top view, you can also go and just adjust it a little bit with proportional editing. But I think more or less, we have achieved what we're trying to do with the ear. Okay, so something like this, adjust it a little bit. We now have our cat ears looking really cute. I might just grab this over here, bring it in a little bit, and a little bit more adjustment from the front. But really at this point, I wouldn't go overboard with the details. You know, like I said, it doesn't have to match the reference 100%. The reference is just there as a general guide for when we're doing our modeling. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab this vertex, maybe just sag this in just a little bit here in the inside. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Let's see if we can add in the eyes. So let's go back into object mode. Shift A, let's add in a UV sphere. 
Uh, let's right click and go shades move and let's go G and move that up and then S to scale it. And let's make it probably about this big. And in our right view, we're gonna go G, Y, and just move it forward till it's sitting right about here in our, um, in our 3D space. So not too far out, not too far in, just about here. And then tap into edit mode and go R, X, 9, 0, just set a point this way. And this is a little something I'm gonna do, is just select this vertex over here and go Control plus to grow to selection twice. And then go E to extrude it in a little bit, S to scale, and then tab back out, right click, and let's just go shade auto smooth. And that just kind of gives us something that kind of gives us an idea of where the pupils are. And let's give this a mirror and let's go to our eyedropper and select a cat as a reference. And uh, yeah, now it's just a matter of positioning these. Looks a bit creepy. I don't really like it at the moment. So I'm just gonna maybe grab these and scale them just a little bit. That looks worse. Maybe make them a bit bigger. Okay, that looks better. So you just wanna make sure things match up. But these eyes are just kind of like a placeholder anyway. Okay, something like that. Looks cool. So now we're gonna go back selecting our cat, tab into edit mode. And let's select our edges running along here. And let's go G, move them back a little bit. And then we're gonna go E to extrude, extrude them out like so, S to scale slightly. And we're gonna go E to extrude, S to scale like so. And then in our right view, we're gonna go E to extrude and extrude them in. So we've extruded them in like so. S to scale slightly, so something like that. And now we're just gonna go to our proportional editing and let's just select the corner of the eye here and go G. Let's just move it out and grab this one, move it out like so. There we go, that's looking a lot better. And eventually when we give this a subdivision surface modifier, this will all look a lot better as well. So just keep that in mind as we're doing this. Grab this corner here and just move that back and out a little bit. Okay, that shape's looking a lot better. And let's just give our cat some nostrils. This is optional, you don't have to do this, but I think it just adds a cool touch. So what we're gonna do, so what we're gonna do is just grab the corner of the nose here, bring it down a little bit. Let's come over this edge down here and go Control R, double click to add an extra edge. So we have a little loop running around like so. Okay, that's looking really good. And I'm just gonna grab these guys here, double G just to slide them out a bit further, just to space these out like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna press K to get the cut tool. Let's click over here and let's go up to here, to this edge and then up like so, and then in a little bit, and then up and out like so, and then up here, up here, and let's just Keep going through and up to here and then in and then into this edge here and press enter. And then let's go get our face select and just select these two faces over here and go E to extrude and extrude them in. S to scale and go X and delete those faces like so. And here we have a non quad over here. So let's just go K with the cut tool. Click on this corner here. Let's come in here and let's go around to here. Press enter. And what I'm going to do is just delete grab this edge here and go X and dissolve that edge. And once you've dissolved that edge, let's just go get the K tool again to cut and just go all the way down, all the way in to the inside of the mouth here and all the way in like so. And then let's grab this X and let's just dissolve this edge here and go K and let's just make it go across like so. And at least now the topology is looking a lot better. Okay, I like that a lot more. And then over here we have a non quad, which can come in handy because we can go K. Let's go around the nostril here that we've created all the way to this corner here. And then we can come K and go through from here to here. And then let's select this edge here because we've got these two triangles. Let's go X and dissolve that edge like so. So now I'm a lot happier with that edge flow. So I'm just gonna bring these two in, slide this one up. like so, tab back out into object mode. Let's right click and go shade smooth. And that's already looking really, really nice. So if you've made this far, you're doing really good. And like I said, if you're struggling, I have included this finished modeled cat. So if you wanna skip the modeling bit, you can just go on with the rest of the tutorial 
and kind of turn it into your own cat. But um, yeah, this is kind of most of the modeling done for now. Let's just go over here and just grab the tail at the back and let's go Alt S and just scale it out a little bit along the normals. Let's just grab this tip over here. Control R, add in a loop. Alt S just to scale it out a little bit along the normals. And then let's just grab it by going G and X. And let's just move that topology out a bit. And um, maybe grab this edge running along here, double G just to slide it down. And grab this edge running along here, double G just to slide it up. And then Control R, roll your middle mouse button, just add in a few more segments for the cat tail. And then Control R over here, double click. And then you can just kind of, you know, make it match to reference as much as you want. Adding in some more topology, kind of scaling it, but you you guys kind of get the idea by now. Okay, and if you want, you can just grab the whole cat tail one more time, and then just kind of smooth it out with the smooth tool, just lightly. But so now what you're gonna do is just finish off polishing the topology, and um, in areas where it doesn't look too good, you can go ahead and fix it up. So I'm gonna maybe slide this down. It's looking a little bit more stretched here in the side than I'd like. Um, you guys can leave it like that if you want. You don't have to get too complicated at the moment with this model. But there's a lot of things here I would clean up. And usually when I'm just doing this by myself, it doesn't matter, I have all the time in the world. But when I'm doing a tutorial, it is a real, real tricky sometimes um, in real time to explain this and then go back and forth. So I know it's a lot of triangles here. I wouldn't usually leave my models like this at all. And where I can, I try to change the, make sure there's no, um, just make sure it's quads as much as possible. There are rare occasions where I wouldn't mind it being a triangle in certain situations, but more or less, I try to avoid that. So over here, we get some long stretching faces. In situations like that, you can just press K and get the cut tool and go through like so and round it out a little bit. And then, you know, in areas where you have triangles here, you can dissolve the edges. And then using the cut tool, you can kind of work this into something like I am over here. And we can bring it in here, maybe add a little bit more topology around the eye. But stuff like this is stuff you could do preferably, you know, it's all about how much effort you want to put into your models, how you want to make them look. Um, but this is kind of like where I'm at at the moment with this model. So I will be providing this model anyway. So if any of you got stuck on this, you can look at my model and you can even use it and continue with the tutorial. So um, yeah, I think I'll leave it at this for now. So I'll see you guys in the next part where we're gonna do a bit of UV unwrapping. And then from there, we'll go on to the texturing. So I'll see you in the next part. Make sure to watch.